G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. So, seems like uh, Bitcoin back on the 10th of July, when it crashed down to sort of 9,100, that was kind of led by uh, Bitstamp and miners all kind of selling off at the same time. So uh, that's very interesting. Uh, but what I did uh, like when I read this story, and this is some good news, is Bitcoin is still uh, holding support above the $9,000 barrier. A break a breakthrough further of 9,300 could lead towards 9,600. Essentially anything between 8,500 and 10,500 is playground time for the altcoins uh, and that could last a few months longer. So if you're in any kind of altcoins at the moment, you're probably doing uh, not too bad because Bitcoin is just, uh, yeah, it's really kind of stuck around that kind of $9,000 sort of level. It has dipped a little bit lower and it's sort of got up to almost 10,000 uh, for a while there, but it's really kind of holding the course and that is what's really helping the altcoins at the moment. So I guess it's good to know that uh, Bitcoin, it, it has some real good support at around that kind of $9,000 mark. Uh, people are buying it up as soon as it drops down to that $9,000 mark, uh, it's getting bought back up straight away. So yeah, maybe my prediction that I could see Bitcoin going below uh, down to around about 8,000, uh, yeah, might prove to not be true. You know, anything's possible. We'll have to wait and see. I still believe it could do it. But it is good to know at least around that $9,000 mark, people are buying up Bitcoin straight away. There's obviously a, uh, a lot of support for Bitcoin at $9,000. Uh, and so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Something else I wanted to have a look at was I've been noticing the market cap. The market cap has been steadily growing. Now, slowly but surely at times, but if we click onto the market cap, so it's 278 billion at the moment. And we can see that's the market cap, but what I wanna do, is let's go right in to 2020. So if we go back to early January, we were sitting around 185 billion. Now it climbed up to the peak here, and got to over 300 billion. And then obviously we had the pandemic and everything and it dropped down and what was our low here? Whew, 107 billion. But what we can see here is over the last few months, it has been steadily building and building and building. So again, there is support. People are still getting into cryptocurrencies and more people are getting involved. So this is what I think is really, really uh, good signs and I, I believe that we're gonna uh, do all right in the not too distant future. You can see it is just so slowly, gradually. You know, they'll have days where it pumps up and it drops off a little bit. That's normal in markets. But it is slowly but surely creeping up and we're getting back to our kind of near all-time highs for the year of over 300 billion. So it's good to see that uh, the market is still growing. It's still got some legs. It's not selling off or anything. And for a Sunday, generally not too bad. So we've got a little bit of green here. Again, usually the weekends we sell off a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. But lastly, so we go over to the chart. And as I've said before, when I bring up this chart, I'm really focusing on uh, some of these key indicators. So the 50 day moving average, the 100 day moving average, and the 200 day moving average. Now, as we can see here, Bitcoin, it's still traveling uh, in this channel here. Now we pumped up and we've had a bit of a sell off and then it pumped up a little bit, we've had a bit of a sell off. And I think it could pump up here and maybe we have a little even a bit more of a sell off uh, again. But really it's around that $9,000 mark that Bitcoin has found a lot of support. But I am really watching for this 100 and even more so the 200 day moving average. I just, I have a sneaky suspicion we're gonna keep Connor, you know, a little bit of a pump and then a little bit of a dump, a little bit of a pump and then a little bit of a dump and it'll just keep following down in this channel. And I, I firmly believe that the 200 day moving average is where we're going to see uh, the, the bounce. I believe that's when we're really gonna make a bit of a move. But it is kinda coiling just under the 50 day moving average. So we haven't got down to the 100, definitely not near the 200, but it's just now starting to hover underneath the 50 day moving average. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You know, Monday's a brand new day tomorrow and usually the markets pick up a little bit on Monday. So we'll just have to wait and see. But the good thing is there wasn't too much news in cryptocurrency uh, world sphere today. So 
not a whole lot to report on but it's good to see that our market cap continues to grow it's good to see that there is uh, a lot of support at that kind of nine thousand dollar mark for bitcoin and again the good part is if bitcoin just kind of holds and you know travels sideways for a while most of our oit excuse me oit our altcoins are doing quite well they're really they're chugging along and they're the biggest gainers at the moment bitcoin's been outpaced by a lot of uh the altcoins uh for the last few months at least in sort of here when we've been traveling sideways bitcoin had a pretty good rally from its low down here you know 3800 and then we got right up to there we go 10,000 sort of 300 but really we've just been kind of traveling sideways mainly in around this kind of nine thousand dollar level Anyway, that's it from me. Just a quick one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you got a couple of gains today. And I'm out.